Hey guys, Nick here with Scog and Dickey on opening day SEMA 2019. We're here in the Chevrolet Performance booth with a lot of new and exciting things going on. Please give us a like on Facebook and YouTube. Follow us on Instagram because this week we're going to have a lot of videos and pictures of some of the cool stuff we got going on this week. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Nick here with Scog and Dickey at SEMA 2019. I'm standing next to our new Mopar 401 Boost Ready Gen 3 Hemi Short Block along with our Hellcat crate engine that we also custom modify. And stay tuned, because coming up later this year in early 2020, we also have the Elephant crate engines are finally gonna be arriving at our doorstep. Give us a call. Hey guys, Nick here with Skog and Dickey showing off our new Hellcat crate engines that we're modifying in our race shop. This has a lot of trick, neat new parts. Manton custom billet anodized valve covers. We have an ATI lower pulley as well as a Grip Tech upper pulley on a ported Joker's performance snout. And to top it off, Nick Williams custom prototype throttle body. Stay tuned and see what we can get out of this bad boy. Hey guys, Nick here at Skog and Dicky SEMA 2019. Now everybody knows about the T56 transmissions and the four speed autos for our connect and cruise package and our crate engines. But this year at SEMA, they finally debuted the six speed automatic 6L80E and the eight speed 8L90E. The six speed automatic will be offered on some of the LS engines. The 8L90 is for LT1, LT4, and yes, you've heard correct, LT5 has finally got an automatic transmission option with the 8L90E transmission. The LT5 8L90E package is something we're all really excited about. For the past year when they debuted the LT5 last year, it was only T56 manual transmission. Now everybody loves rowing gears, but these new 8 speed automatics are great. They finally offered it in a package complete with the engine, transmission, and of course what everybody wanted was the harness and controller kits to operate it. Look at all this stuff you get with a complete kit. These are supposed to be available first or second quarter of 2020 and pricing is to be announced, so stay tuned for that. One of the things we love about these SEMA shows is when everybody gets really technical the, with their displays. Right here is a rolling chassis that Chevrolet Performance brought with the, the new LS7 and yep, 6L80E Connect and Cruise package. And it blows it up to where you can see everything. You can see how the harness works with all the sensors, the pedal, and the computer. It lets you know what you need to hook up. These kits are great. Everything is well labeled. Everything is brand new and Chevrolet quality. Hey guys, Nick here with Scog and Dickey again, SEMA 2019. Now we did talk a little bit, a little teaser about all these trucks. Chevrolet Performance has a bunch in their booth and they're all heavily customized. This one here is a 2021 Colorado ZR2 concept. We love this thing. It has a whole bunch of really trick stuff on it and surprisingly not all of it's one-off customs. For instance, this snorkel intake is actually going to be a Chevrolet Performance off-road accessory for the Colorados starting next year. Stay tuned for that. We can't get enough of the trucks out here. You know, it's Scog and Nikki. We're all big truck fans, even if it's the E10, the off-road trucks, or the sport trucks. If you need anything, give us a call today or go to sdparts.com. Hey guys, Nick here with Scog and Dickey, and yesterday we teased a video of the new E10 concept custom truck that Chevrolet Performance brought to SEMA this year for 2019. Now this thing is really cool. It actually has dual Chevrolet Volt motors under the hood. That's right, these actually use off-the-shelf drivetrain parts from Chevrolet's uh, introductory electric economy car. At the back of the E10 concept is this really trick custom bed cover. Now, a lot of people would like this to be uncovered, but there's actually a purpose behind all this beautiful copper metallic paint. Underneath here is actually a dual battery pack with dual charging points. It is what's gonna take this 450 horsepower, 470 pound foot of torque truck on long range drives, as well as possible five seconds, zero to 60 times. If you're wondering how this custom E10 pickup puts that Chevy Volt drivetrain to the rear wheels, the mad scientist at Chevrolet Performance actually used the 4L75E straight out of the Performance catalog to connect the rear axle to these twin motors. This thing is really slick. Now last year, they offered the E Copo Camaro 
as well as a 73 Laguna SS with an LT5 swap. But Chevrolet is looking to the future of performance with electric drivetrain swaps. Drop us a line in the comments. We kind of want to know, know what you think. This is a pretty polarizing idea. A lot of people love it. A lot of people are kind of skeptical and a lot of people think it's a little sacrilegious. Let us know in the comments. Thanks. Hey guys, Nick here with Skog and Nikki SEMA 2019. And like every year, Chevrolet Performance does not short us on the Copos. This one is actually a John Force concept. He was here earlier meeting fans and signing autographs and answering questions. It was a whole lot of fun. Now, along with this cool concept car with different color schemes, we definitely have some Copo engines here on display. The new one here that we really like is the new Copo 350 with the Magnuson TVS 2650 instead of the 29 Whipple. Now this thing makes, well, that's an industry secret that we're keeping to ourselves. Hey guys, Nick here with Skog and Nikki SEMA 2019. No reason to panic, I am not sitting on a high dollar Copo engine. I'll explain here in a minute. I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a history. Back in 2011 SEMA show, Chevrolet released the Copo Camaro concept as an homage back to 1969. It was so popular, they decided to actually introduce it for sale in 2012. The following year, they decided to release something like this. This is called the CRC, stands for Camaro Rolling Chassis. And let me explain what that is. This is pretty much a Copo Camaro without the drivetrain. And it's brilliant. You get to do the fun part. You get to swap in whatever engine and trans you want. And while everything in the engine bay is missing where I'm standing, everything else to run the car is here. We have a CNR radiator, a big single spall fan. We have all the electronics for the car to get everything wired up, manual steering rack, and of course the factory aluminum subframe to keep this car light. This car also comes with strange drag brakes front and rear with a manual master cylinder and a Hurst line lock to really help you dial in that 60 foot time. And inside here, the racing features don't stop. I am sitting on some nice pro car seats by SCAT. We have Simpson certified five point racing horses harness as well as their certified racing net. We have a really well done 850 certified cage. And even though this car is all new, it does come with all the stuff you're gonna want. It comes with a full switch panel for your fuel pump, your fans, and yeah, even your lights, cause you have to have those. We do get some autometer gauges. The gauge cluster has the four essentials along with the tack here mounted on the roll bar. And uh, even though it does have the HVAC controls, I haven't been able to get the AC to work. Hmm. The CRC rides on a set of Hoosier drag slicks mounted to these beautiful Bogart racing wheels. Underneath is a slightly shortened Ford 9 inch with a four link system and strange dual adjustable coilovers to help you go straight and true right down the drag strip. And at the back of a car, we finish it off with an Aeromotive five gallon aluminum fuel cell, an in tank eliminator fuel pump, and 8AN feed and return PTFE lined braided hoses all the way to the front to one of their fuel pressure regulators, as well as the trunk mounted battery and even the required battery kill switch. The CRCs are still being produced today, as you can see here. For all your needs, visit us at sdparts.com or to special order your own CRC for the next race season, give us a call. Thanks. Attention in the exhibit hall. It's been a great week. Yeah. Thank you for attending the SEMA Show 2019. The show is now over. Thanks for coming, Rob.
guys, Nick here with Scoggin Dicky, and today is the last day of SEMA 2019. Everybody's finishing and packing up just like we have, and it's been an amazing four-day experience. We've seen a lot of great new innovative products, met with a lot of wonderful customers, and of course, seen a lot of great builds from over the years, and who can forget all new C8 Corvette in the Chevrolet Performance booth, especially this C8R we really love. You know, We've been coming to SEMA for years now, but we've been in business since 1929. You heard that right. It's business for 90 years, and it's been in the same family the whole time. It's truly a blessing for us to be here, and we really appreciate you guys following us and watching our videos. Stay tuned for more videos. You can uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a like and a follow on Facebook and our Instagram. We really appreciate it, guys. Have a great one.